Hi, I'm Stacy Ryan. I'm a middle school math teacher in Kansas, and I use Skype in my classroom often to make math and what we're learning in math come alive and be relevant for my students so they can see how what we're learning in math is relevant to the real world and how they'll use it in the future. So some of the ways that I do that is to connect with other classrooms that are similar grade, similar grade level and studying similar content. Doing that helps kids learn that what they're learning in our class is also what students around the world are learning. And that makes it more relevant just knowing that it's really something that, that people just need to know and something that people all around the world use. So some ways that I do that are um, connecting with experts that talk about how they use math in their life. And you can easily invite other classrooms to join you on that to make those a group call so that you can learn together. And then sometimes that can launch itself into PBL and PBL projects where classes can investigate um, different topics together and the math implications of that and learn from an expert together. And it's a really neat thing for classes around the world to be learning together about how math is used in different careers. Another way that we use Skype during math class is using Kahoot with Skype. So we will connect with another math class that's learning the same thing that my students are and we'll practice that or review that concept using Kahoot and sharing our screen within Skype. Um, it's another great way to demonstrate that students are learning the same thing and also to learn from one another and have students share their strategies together. Um, using Skype is a great way to have an authentic audience for students so when you're working on a project and especially applying the math that they're learning in class um, you can let them know that they'll be presenting to another class that's doing something similar and so right there it, it makes what they're learning more relevant and um, gives them more motivation to have a great presentation because they know that they'll have an authentic audience to present to and share their learning with so and of course another way to use Skype in math is with mystery Skype. So you can do mystery decimal, mystery number Skype, um, mystery equation, you can do mystery um, zip code or area code and incorporate that with decimals as well. So there are many, many ways to use Skype to make your math content relevant and meaningful, exciting and inspiring for our math students.